The Tiger Hawk image. This is a really fun project today that you can leave as is or you can add something to your background. The choice is up to you. But I wanted to talk to you about positive and negative space because both of these will play an important part in this project. Looking for certain things and looking at the relationship between the white and the black areas of what you're drawing, how both of them play an important role. So learning to draw is a lot about learning to see. So I want you to, to kind of think about looking for shapes, looking for space between objects as you start drawing your image. So let's go ahead and get started. I started out by the eye and I started thinking, well, that looks a lot like a circle. Um, and then as I started drawing it, again, draw light until you've got it right. So I always like to draw really light because it's super easy to erase if I need to. And then I'm looking at that image right beside me as I begin drawing. It made it a whole lot easier because I'm constantly looking back at the relationship between the areas that are black and the areas that are white. Just like in those images that we saw at the beginning of the video. So as I begin drawing, please feel free to stop, pause it, whatever you feel like. If I go too fast, um, just go back and rewind. But what I'm really concentrating on right now is the relationship and the shapes that I start to see. So I'm looking at the white space between the eye and I'm looking for overall basic shapes that I'm starting to see. So, you know, as you look at, at the tiger hawk image, really pay attention to and focus in on the shapes and the white space between um, each of the shapes. Okay, once you feel like your pencil work is at a good spot, let's go ahead and grab a marker and start filling in some of that black space for our image. Again, I sped this up quite a bit so, um, so that you could see this in a short amount of time. And then I erased any other little pencil marks that I wanted to, um, to erase. So if you like the way that you have it, you can leave it the way it is. And as an optional step, I had a lot of white space in my background and I thought, let's just add a little bit more color into it and a little bit more interest. So I just started out pencil drawing in some items and then I'm just going to go ahead and outline it in black, the same black marker that I used before. And grabbing some crayons, I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in with yellow. And I like to add a little bit of orange to my yellow to make it look more golden. So it's not just because yellow is such a light color. I feel like orange does a nice job of highlighting certain areas. You'll notice that my orange is not coloring over top of my yellow, but instead just adding some accent color. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you had fun. Have a great day.